we have come to the end of exercise 6b in which today we shall be dealing with 6 7 that is why we say what to do what to study first we should know our motive isn't it? we should know the target what to achieve so today we shall be studying 6 7 and 8 and these all i can categorize this in the name of miscellaneous sums miscellaneous means a variety different of, of different varieties still i found that here we need to find the unknown values from the given ratio means the ratios are given the ratios are given and in the ratio we have to find this unknown values of x and y unknown values of x and y now before we begin i would request you people to subscribe isn't it and why you should do this you know that if i love you all you should also reciprocate in the same manner now let's come to question number six the video is going to be very short therefore i think that you people will not get bored in question number six they say that the values of x by y is given as 5 by 4 and the value of 2 by x is given as 3 by 8 okay what are they asking so they are asking find the value of find the value of what should I find it? Find the value of y. Because I find that x is over here also, x is over here also. Isn't it? x is over here, x is over here. They need to find the value of y. Now, how are we going to find the value of y? By Equating the values of x, equating, find the value of y by equating the values of x. So we are going to find the value of x also here, x here also and then we will equate it, barabar, barabar, isn't it? So what we need to do let's cross multiply here we will cross multiply in order to get the values in a line form means in a line form so on cross multiplication cross multiplication x into 4 x into 4 will be equal to 5 into y or the value of x will be equal to 5y by 4 and I hope you people do not have any issue here again when you look at this as I said on cross multiplication so when we cross multiply so 3 into x 3 into x will be equal to 2 into 8 2 into 8 or x will be equal to 16 by 3 so I got the value of x here also now x is equal to this and x is equal to this therefore on equating on equating therefore on equating my dear 5y by 4 5y by 4 will be equal to 16 by 3 
x is here x the value of x is here also this uh, here also therefore 5y by 4 will be equal to 16 by 3 now let's do cross multiplication once again and what you will find that on cross multiplication on cross multiplication you will get 5y into 3 5y into 3 will be equal to 16 into 4 so 5y into 3 is equal to 15y will be equal to 16 fours are 64 or y will be equal to 64 by 15 y will be equal to 64 by 15 and you can also convert this into uh, mixed fraction uh, 15 4 times 60 4 times 60 4 4 by 15 we don't have any big issues okay the same not same you can say a little different variety since I said miscellaneous sums these are miscellaneous sums therefore you will get a different varieties find the value of x okay when 2.5 by 4 is equal to x by 7.5. Now what's big deal in this? Because you know that if you cross multiply it on cross multiplication, you will get the values in aligned form. That is 4 in times x will be equal to 2.5 into 7.5 therefore the value of x will be equal to 2.5 into 7.5 by 4 now if you remove the decimal from the numerator naturally you will have to multiply the denominator by 10 again if you do repeat the same process with 2.5 you will have to multiply it by 10 again let me make it little clear so that when we cancel it we shouldn't get confused so 25 into 75 by 4 into 10 into 10 100 and you all know that when you will cancel with 5 or 25, let me cancel with 25. 25 1 times, 25 4 times. You will get 75 by 4 4 are 16, which on division you will get when you will convert it into mixed numbers, you will get. 4 11 by 16 as the value of x isn't it now the last one number 8 since we are solving miscellaneous sums isn't it they will l a n e o u s miscellaneous sums therefore it, naturally you will get of different varieties so in question number 8 and as I said, as when you people become happy, I too become happy, isn't it? And my happiness is because this is the end of our chapter. Not only exercise, but chap chapter. Show that. Show that 2, 12 and 72 are in continued. Proportion. So, my dear, you know that when three numbers are in continued proportion, isn't it? Solution. Okay. If A, B, and C are in continued proportion, 
hmm? continued proportion then a is to be the ratio of a and b will be equal to or is in proportion to b is to c so here if i take this 2 as a 12 as b and 72 as c then a is to a by b will be equal to a by b or a is to b a by b will be equal to 2 by 12 and on cancellation to 1 times to 6 times is equal to 1 by 6 and b by c b by c will be equal to let me see b where is b b is 12 by c 72 and you know that 12 1 times 12 and 6 times 72 therefore b by c is equal to 1 by 6 since a is to b is equal to b is to c a is to b equal to b is to c therefore 2 12 and 72 are in continued proportion are in continued proportion isn't it so once again since you people also take lots and lots of patients therefore from my side lots of thank to you all and since we are going to stay long therefore you need to focus on these small words isn't it I hope you can read this. Thank you.